Yo, what's up? So this is gonna be a shorter guide compared to the other ones because this is not a good boss killer. This is a mapper character that I did just for some fun. This was an idea that I had for a couple of leagues now and this is the perfect time to try that because I had some spare time between expensive builds. I have an um, all content ranger build guide coming soon. I'm not gonna spoil anything. And I also have some cold right now as you can maybe probably notice from my voice. So this week's videos are probably gonna be like this, so I'm sorry if my voice is thicker than usual. So let's just start. So this is a cheap build, a mapper build if you just want to play something non-meta. Uh, because this is a champion, Ethereal Knife. So it is a spell on an attack character actually. And I'm gonna explain how I did this, did this build, alright. So the character uses lots of unique items and it just takes like maximum one hour to build the character you can just uh, finish it real quick all right uh, i use let's say only rare rings all of the other items are unique so you are gonna be very uh, fast at gearing this character so let's just uh, cut to the chase all right so this is an impale spell build so here is how to do that replica heartbreaker so that's why i also called this video uh, make build with this unique that is a series that i started a couple of leagues ago so this was another episode. Uh, spells have a chance to impale. It is 20% and also impale effect. Energy recharge rate. It, it, it is also going to be useful for this build. I'm going to explain it real quick. Uh, soon, let's say. Spell damage, energy, life. So all of these stats actually work for this build. So these daggers are right now like 20 chaos, 30 chaos. That's why you can also maybe consider corrupting these later on. I haven't done that because this is a mapping character. My character had 6 million DPS. Uh, not bad. It is enough to just kill uh, the usual stuff. Uh, you know, conquerors, guardians, maybe um, formed. I did that. So you can face tank any physical damage dealing boss. This character is super tanky against physical damage. You, you are just unkillable. This character has more than 100k effective hit pool. You will probably have some problem with maybe beyond maps because I don't have much um, maximum resistances and also because all of my pieces are pretty much unique. I don't have any suppressed spell chance. So if that is something that you want to do, maybe you also want to use a headhunter, maybe if you really enjoy this build, I'm not sure. So that is about this dagger and how tanky this character is. This character also uses only one inspired learning jewel. Maybe you can go for two. And again, maybe you can also buy a headhunter if you want. So this is actually a not bad mapper character. Maybe if you just want to play something non-meta, all right. So devouring the Adam helmet, this is why inner shield recharge also helps. So this is actually how I reserve lots of auras at the same time. So the helmet uh, gives you the Eldritch Battery Keystone, which means that you actually spend Energy Shield before your mana. So we don't need any mana in this build. We just need Energy Shield and is, uh, we are going to use that. So how to sustain Energy Shield, alright, this is important. Uh, this is something that I noticed actually while preparing this build. And something that I haven't seen on any other build guide or whatever, uh, alright. Uh, this is a new mastery. Increase and reductions to armor also apply to energy shield recharge rate at 20% of their value. Because this is a build that stacks so much armor and evasion, this character has 233 increased armor, you know, percentage armor, more than 200. On the talent tree, 20% of this is gonna be actually um, energy shield recharge. So this is how you sustain your energy shield. If you just stop and cast for a long time, you might notice maybe you will lose your energy shield after some point. But usually you don't do that. You just, you know, um, whirling place through the map. Bam, bam, bam. Whirling place through the map. So you actually sustain it. But even in maybe Minotaur while face tanking the boss. And there is also a Drox clip somewhere in this video. I'm not sure. Uh, you don't actually run off energy shield. Alright, this is how to sustain it. This helmet plus that mastery. So you don't need to worry about mana at all. So because this helmet also has socketed gems have 25% increased reservation efficiency plus champion also has free banner and also access to some good uh, reservation notable on the talent tree. These are the auras we are using in this build. Right for physical damage. This is These are in our helmet by the way. Right now these auras. All right. Right for physical damage. Grace for evasion. Uh, Zillotory for spell damage. Only a level 3 and 9 
let me just check if two is enough and unfortunately not but i actually skipped one reservation passive let me just just check that right now in fact of building all right you can actually play with a level two enlightened all right this is important if you just want to spend less by a level two get another reservation efficiency passive on the talent tree you will just notice it in my path of building while checking the build i actually skipped one small uh, point in the sovereignty uh, wheel all right the mana reserve wheel near the templar area just get that use a level 2 enlightened if you want all right these are in our helmet i also have a 20 level vitality for regeneration on other piece it doesn't matter where you put it a determination for armor and also have war banner for physical damage um because this is a champion he actually has access to three banners so actually war banner doesn't reserve anything at all so these are all the buffs that we are using you can reserve so much with this build only level two or three enlightened all right and a reservation cluster jewel on the talent tree which is going to be easy to find you can even get a megalomaniac that is what i did if you can find some good combinations but you can just get any reservation uh, small clusters or only like 20 chaos 30 chaos that has maybe grace determination or maybe pr uh, pride uh, reservation efficiency these are the good these are the auras that we are using all right so get one of those i picked sublime form or grace and because it also provided 10 per uh, 10 percent uh, to all elemental resistances so it's going to be easier to get my resistances so these are all about the auras the helmet uh, moving on to the next other pieces all right skin of lords for some easy dps and 100 percent increased global defenses so that way you can actually increase your inner shield armor and evasion even more that is how to stack a lot of those because this chest piece um, actually cannot be rolled let's say the colors you have to get the uh, same colors that we are using uh, on our ethereal knives setup so it is one green two red three blues maybe if you have any problems uh, finding uh, good colors just check pet of building just click ethereal knives you can actually the pet of building actually um those you with gems actually provide good dps so there is actually also a cruelty support that i'm checking right now maybe faster casting but it's gonna be a lower dps probably so consider using maybe cruelty support uh, instead of maybe something else if you cannot find this same color setup uh, so that is about that um for the keystone because this is a skin of lords there is also skin of loyal without any keystone you can also use that if you want with some good corruption i picked skin of lords because it provides plus two and just pick the keystone that doesn't actually butcher this build so just get anything that is not bad for this build i picked solipsism you don't have to get that it basically does almost nothing just lowers the ailment durations on me per 15 intelligence something like that it is pretty much useless but i just picked that because i didn't want to get anything bad for the build all right uh, just get any keystone it doesn't matter in that so gloves this is important there are two gloves that you may want to use while mapping uh Asenat glows for explosion because this is a physical build we cannot use any herald of ice herald of ash anything to boost our clear speed this glows is a must all right uh, without this your mapping will feel shit this is already a non-meta character maybe this is not something that you are looking for so uh yes this is why you should definitely use this glows that makes huge difference and makes mapping fun all right so for explode nothing else to explain if you want to kill maybe the guardians shaper those kind of bosses from time to time again but this is not a good boss killer all right but while maybe farming bosses you found a kirak miss mission all right maybe you are going for that minotaur fight or whatever or maybe you have a guardian a conqueror map all right you get the point just use a maligaros uh virtuosity or whatever it's called air uh, glows this is also super cheap right now maybe like 10 chaos i bought something with um good corruption also probably paid like 40 50 chaos it was super cheap no one uses this this just makes your crit multiplier 300 percent so you don't even get need to get any crit notables on the talent tree um i'm just gonna unequip this close this close actually provides me with my flask up all right everything up 2.5 million dps the build already has 6 million dps not that crazy without this close you just lose like half of it so this is how to boost that uh, boss dps do not go for those kind of big bosses with asenat glows your dps will feel even more shit all right this is a must just make glow swapping uh, if you bother doing that or just simply map with this character with asenat all the time 
This character can easily farm Harbingers, uh, Ambush, Scarab, those kind of uh, tier 16 maps. Alright, you will have no problem at all. You already watched the clips, maybe they are still rolling at the background. Uh, boots. Voidwalker boots for uh, peers, that is how to boost our clear speed. So if you killed recently, you get phasing, and if you have phasing, it means that you have 5 peers. That's it, simple as that. This is a 1 chaos item. I also got something with cast speed if you have killed recently for faster mapping. Simple as that. Ashes of Star, super cheap right now. Uh, reservation plus one level for DPS. Quality for even more projectile speed, those kind of stuff. So one thing to mention, this is an impaled build. There is actually an Ethereal Knives um, alternate quality, Divergent, that provides impaled. So if you also use this amulet, uh, because why not? This is probably the best amulet for the price, for DPS and all of that. You actually get another 1 million D DPS with Divergent uh, Ethereal Knives. But you will lose lots of projectile speed, which will actually lower your mapping speed. So maybe if you have any divergent ethereal knives, also uh, swap gems at those bosses for that additional 1 million DPS. Because more impale chance is better for DPS. This character doesn't have 100% impale. It is so hard to do that on a spell impale build. Because that is something that doesn't even exist. Alright. Um, so that's pretty much it about the amulet. Good DPS and reservation for its price. Rings, just to keep my resistances, alright, because we use lots of uniques, as you already saw, all of my pieces are uniques, alright. Just put resistances, life, you don't need any mana cost reduction, those kind of stuff. Again, this build is free to cast, you know, you just use inner shield, which is almost endless. You may need a little intelligence, so also try to put those. If you don't need any attributes or whatsoever, just put maybe spell damage or cast speed on your rings. That's it. Finally, belt torrent reclamation. This is also not that expensive right now. One exalt, maybe two exalt. One of the, uh, let's say, expensive pieces maybe, because this is a low budget build. I spent less than 15 maybe exalt. I don't know. Super cheap build. Um, this actually puts a harbinger see let's say a button on your skill bar all right you need to press it once if something happens uh, just make sure you check it from time to time you actually see that harbinger moving around with you all right make sure that it is summoned but normally it doesn't disappear if nothing happens all right <clears throat> because it is not targetable it it, it doesn't uh, it is immortal let's say it doesn't die in maps it is not a minion so just press it make sure it is near you this just, just actually applies you above that uh, makes you faster uh, gives you action speed or more uh, cast speed, movement speed, those kind of stuff. So good buff. The belt already has attack and cast speed, so you are going to be faster, obviously. Life recovery rate, which is super important for this build, because this build has good regeneration. And energy recovery rate, perfect belt for this build. Because the implicit is pretty much useless, you may want to get something uh, with, with maybe pride aura effect, determination aura effect, grace aura effect, crit strike chance during any flask effect, uh, cast speed. All resistances, so any good corruption, do not get crit multiplier, it doesn't work with the Maligoro uh, glows. But if you just want to map all the time, if you want to use Asenad glows all the time, maybe consider getting some crit multipliers from other sources. Because with the glows, Maligaros, your crit multiplier is always 300%, you cannot go above it, alright? So that is important. And that's it about all the items I am using. I'm just going to show you the path of building super quick. Again, I want to keep this build short as possible because it is not a good boss killer, it is not an old content build or whatever. So you need to use one ring of blaze jewel. That is how you can actually fire ethereal project ethereal nice projectiles in a circle. So you just uh, right click, that's it. <laughs> Don't even need to aim or whatever. Because this is super cheap, get something with corrupted blood. If you want to be immune to that, it was like 10 chaos. No one plays ethereal knives. And uh, this is where to put it because it needs actually at least 40 dexterity. And this is going to be here, alright? So this is the slot you need to put this. If you know any other slots, maybe you can go for that. But this is the slot in my penalty right now. Iron Will for some additional DPS because it converts the strength bonus to spell damage as well. This is how to get the rest of the Impale. This is a global Impale chance. I discovered this while making this build. I was like, alright, this is so good. So this is how to boost that Impale chance in that physical mastery. Evo Churzai with Impale additional hits. Yeah, because no one plays attack builds, it is not meta in this game. Most of the time, let's say. At least, uh, actually, uh, physical builds, let's say. Elemental builds, for some reason, more popular in this game. Um, 
So that's why this is actually super cheap, only 1.5 exalt. And as you notice, this is a double watcher's eye because this combination, uh, no one uses this. There is no such thing as this kind of build. So if you are lucky, if you want to do this build, just check like these uh, combinations. So normally you want impale two additional hits. That is the best for impaled builds. Again, it is right now 1.5 exalt, super cheap. Uh, because we are also using determination, zillatory, grace. So try to get anything with that. If you put any zillatory uh, modifier that works for this build, like Arcan Arcane Search, because this build has energy shield, you cannot uh, consume energy shield, let's say, uh, thanks to the helmet. You cannot actually get Arcane Search because we are not uh, spending any mana. So this is how you can actually boost your DPS. Uh, if you also use a Sulfur Flask or even a Battle Fate, maybe, alright, they both work because Battle Fate also is a Sulfur Flask. Once you press it, because you created Consecrated Ground, you will just immediately get that Arcane Surge for 4 seconds. Alright, that is how to use that uh, Watcher's Eye modifier effectively. Uh, consider getting this or maybe Zillatory Cast Speed, that is also super nice. If you cannot find any of those, obviously, just get tried 2 additional hits. That's it. Super cheap, non-meta, no one uses that, so hurry up. Um, this is where the reservation stuff here is. Alright, uh, what is this? More armor and chance to get endurance charges when you are hit. So you can just face tank most physical bosses as you already watched. Face tank Minotaur, Drox, everything like that. Uh, cheap clusters. A large. Uh, you can maybe get other combinations. These are good and cheap. This was like one point something exalt, this cluster. Alright. Uh, Master Fundamentals is good for resist and DPS. Furious Assault obviously cast speed is super important. Battle Ardent for even more energy. Uh, what's that? Evasion and armor. Let's check our armor and evasion. Almost 40k evasion. More than 50k armor. So you are basically capped uh, at those. Not bad resistances. I didn't invest into maximum resist that much. That's why maybe Beyond can be deadly with shit modifiers. So you may wanna maybe use uh, more maximum resistances. I don't know. This build is not that tanky to spell damage, again I'm telling you. For medium I just picked streamlined repeater for projectile damage, cast speed, projectile speed. Those are the stats that you want. This is how I get my reservation. This is a megalomaniac jewel but you don't need this. Uh, there are lots of combinations like this, maybe you can find other passives. So the important one is, I already mentioned this at the start of the video I believe. Just get something with reservation efficiency that we are using, you know, it can be a determination. Alright, we are using that, it can be, where's that, Pride, Grace, Zillatory, it doesn't matter. Just check the passives on the database website or just craft the jewel here, you can just check it with cluster jewel, small, alright. Just check the passives names and type them and try to find a good megalomaniac or just get a small one, it doesn't have to be a megalomaniac. Megalomaniac jewels can also have other passives, that's why you can actually get more setup, that's why they are better. So if you can find something good, this one at basic of pain for damage crit and life and regeneration this was very nice though that's why i picked this this was like 30 chaos no one uses these kind of jewels so try to get those if you can and finally inspired learning this is one exalt right now this is good for mapping characters you need four notables in the radius allocated so one two three four so this jewel can actually work you just uh, steal a rare modifier rare monsters modifier this is like a mini headhunter belt all right so you can actually uh, steal some buffs and gain some uh, bonuses while mapping so your character feels stronger. That is pretty much it. Maybe you can use another one, maybe here. Um, probably that's the only other place, yeah. If you put it here, I believe you need to get one, two, three, and one of these shit nodes. So you will probably waste at least three, five points. But Endur's Charge, Endur Charge actually works for this build, so yeah, maybe you consider using two Inspired Learnings. Uh, you can do that and that's it i already showed you the gems some of the buffs or us if you want to calculate your watcher's eye this is how to do that because that watcher's eye modifier actually cannot be calculated in path of building still bugged they don't do anything to support it as you can see it is red arcane search for four seconds that's why I just put a level one arcane search on some spell so make sure that it gets calculated that's it thanks for watching Again, I have an all-content ranger build coming soon. Uh, this is a build that I created myself. It doesn't exist. So if you are um, excited for that, make sure do not do not miss that, alright? You can join my Discord. That is where I chat with people all the time. If you want to support this channel, uh, consider becoming a Patreon member. It is uh, only like $3. 
the cheapest package just to support the channel. You can also become a higher package member if you want me to make, you know, pet of building reviews, fix your build, help you with your build, or maybe you can even um, give me build ideas. So I always try to do those. All right. Thanks for watching. I will see you later. Bye bye.